What's up, everyone? Arturo uh, here with the Cruz Realty Group and Keller Williams. It's um, today's Friday, and uh, we certainly um, wanted to do these videos regularly now, sort of like a monthly, um, definitely try to do monthly, maybe twice a month to give you an update um, on what's going on our local on our local real estate market. You, I understand you guys, uh, as a loan officer, you get um, data in terms of what the market is doing in terms of the rates and what a ride has been the last couple of weeks, right? Um, certainly we have seen um, uh, pre-approvals that uh, were good to two, three weeks ago, which are no longer good. Uh, and uh, we'll, we'll see what the, the future is going to bring. But today I wanted to give you a quick update on um, a few, uh, one, two, four uh, components of the market um, in, in terms of what's going on uh, here in our neck of the woods. Uh, as you can see on my screen, we um, I got the Northern Virginia Association of Realtors, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, not zip codes, but areas, uh, counties, uh, which covers um, the city of Falls Church, um, Fairfax City, Arlington, Fairfax, uh, and the city of Alexandria, right? So those are the um, the areas that the this particular uh, area covers. So a couple of components here in uh, in our neck of the woods is that the, uh, this, what is this? Oh, this is all, well, let's take a look. Let me change this real quick. These are all the active listings that we've had, right? Uh, we can see a uh, a climb of listings as rates uh, uh, creeped up a little bit, uh, and that is coming down to um, uh, 20, uh, 2154 active listings in the month of, that's at the end of August. Um, the one thing I want to show you here, let's see if I, here we go. Um, as of the end of, as of now, actually, uh, there's 2368 um, active listings, right? So a little bit of increase, which, it would make sense um, as the some of the August listings uh, uh, that potentially didn't get a contract uh, and uh, as rates come up, people are um, on the sidelines now in terms of submitting offers, right? So that is that. Um, also wanna show you uh, the pendings. Uh, this include all pendings. Um, again, we had a, a peak and this year in, in April and sort of has raised, uh, has come down quite a bit from, as you can see, it's 30% from uh, lower than last year. Uh, days on market, um, and I'm going to flip screen here for a second. There you go. Uh, days on market, where are you? Still pretty low uh, in terms of um, what we see here. Definitely has been uh, going up a little bit, but definitely... You know, this is what's going on here. Uh, average national market, uh, actually 19 days. We have definitely, I know certain pockets we have seen, uh, you know, less than a week, uh, but that definitely has, we have seen an increase on that. And then the months of supply are still very, um, I want to call it unhealthy. Uh, it, it, what do you call it? Months of supply, but definitely, uh, you know, it's um, we the way I've seen is that it's, it's a number, it's going up. Um, Let's see, real quick, I'm going to change this up to reflect Loudoun County, which to my surprise, uh, Loudoun County was not in, is not included in the, um, in the other uh, group of counties that uh, for Northern, for the association, Northern Virginia Association of Realtors, right? So we got um, all listings, active listings today and uh, uh, 645, there's, uh, the, I think, well, the, the one thing that it makes, um, I think you, I think people worry about is the, the increase of, of, um, of listings from last year, right? 27%. Uh, again, it, that doesn't, it, it's, it's not good, but at the same time, it sort of increases the, the choices for the, for the buyers. Um, and let me see here real quick, if I can grab this data, because I want to show you what's going on. Uh, right now in, um, in Loudoun County, uh, how many listings we have. Um, I think it was like 686, if I'm not mistaken, something like that. Um, this shows 553 because I've taken out some 
um, houses built after 2021 or to be built, but it's about it's about the same amount, right? Um, and then we have the pendings. Um, where are you? Pendings. There we go. All pendings. Uh, I think there's also a sharp decrease um, every month for the last two, three months. Uh, sharp a decrease of 33% from last year. Uh, the months of supply, again, still very um, uh, unhealthy per se. Uh, so at 1.1 months uh, at the end of August. And then uh, the average days on market, uh, it's, where are you? Here we go. Uh, 16 days. We definitely have seen that an increase again uh, in Loudoun in, uh, in Northern Virginia, right? Um, so wanted to um, just give a quick update on that. Uh, there's definitely a lot more. Do we, we subscribe to smart charts, uh, which gives you, I think, pretty good data in terms of what, um, what's going on in the market. Uh, the the one thing that I would definitely have seen uh, in our market is that there's, um, believe it or not, not a not a whole lot of price decreases, right? Uh, but certainly that's that's happening, or it is. Uh, you see that uh, that is that the market is behaving that way. Um, we'll see what happens with the with the rates um, what they are now. You probably be a better person to ask, and and uh, we'd love to hear your feedback on what the uh, what do you think the market's going to do for the next between now and the end of the year. Um, anyways, hopefully this uh this gives you a little bit of um, input of what's what's happening in our market. If you have any questions uh, about a specific property or specific area, we'd love to help out. We'd love to help out your clients, and um, looking forward to um, getting in touch with you soon. Take care. Muchas gracias and. Uh, Sayonara. Juntos.